All right, ladies, welcome, welcome. So excited to have you tonight. So I have been reading a book. I've been doing a book study with um, one of my national sales director mentors and um, Don Otten Sweeney. And this book, if you've not ever read this book, this is so, so good. And it's called, it's from John C. Maxwell, The Ultimate Guide to Developing Leaders. And so um, I have a passion for working with leaders. I have a passion for working with with people that that want to work, that want to um, achieve different things, move up the career path, and that want to also be leaders. And you know, um, in in our mission for building our national area, we're looking for authentic leaders, and so um, godly women that just love to help people, that um, love growth, love flexibility, women that want to be the boss, women that are not driven by drama, but they're actually dislike drama they're confident collaborators and so when i had the opportunity to do this book study it was so exciting okay so i am we are only on like chapter number four and i really was struck by um something like i'm, I'm just going to read you this one paragraph from this book because this is what inspired this training that we're going to be doing and so we're going to be talking about full circle simple success because I believe that that's what Mary Kay um, can, that, that we can provide to you about a Mary Kay business, okay? So over the years, I've found that there are three main reasons why people fail in a job. They may lack the ability or the desire to do the job, or they're not properly trained to do the job, or they do not understand what they're supposed to do to complete the job. The good news is that equipping addresses two out of the three of those problems. If team members who possess ability and desire fail, you may be at fault because you neglected to train them properly. Okay, I have a passion to make sure that everyone is trained properly. And so I read that yesterday and I guess something in it may have stuck in my mind. And this morning while I was getting breakfast ready for my family and getting ready for the day, I felt like uh, God just plopped an idea right on my head. And it was just that reminder that this business really is, it, it can be simple, okay? I wanna share my screen with you real quick. So this is something that, I had on my mind. So I wrote this on a piece of paper and I'm sure that there are other people that have created things like this before, but this was just something I wrote today. Full circle success. It is simple. Do you want the secret to a Mary Kay success? The key to success in this business is determined alone by two things. Faces, people that you share the product with, and career talks, people that you share the business opportunity with, whatever your goals are. So I'm going to take this off the screen for just a little bit. What are your goals? I want you to type them in the chat, okay? So I'm just going to make a list of some of the things that I know some people have had these things as goals. Making friends making money, building confidence, empowering women, changing lives, earning cars, earning diamonds, earning trips. What are some of the things that, what are some of your goals, I guess? Everything that you desire through this business is on the other side of career talks and product trials. Wouldn't you agree? So we're gonna talk about that for just a minute. Let's break it down. Full circle success covers all the bases. Okay, and just to repop this back up here, we're gonna do training on the following things in the coming weeks, and they will be available on my YouTube channel. If you are live on Monday nights, you're gonna get the training live and to be able to ask questions, make comments, and we would love your input. So we're gonna talk about booking appointments next week 
and you and we want you to ask questions because we want that feedback. The second thing, the second week, we're going to be doing coaching appointments to hold. And I put coaching appointments to hold because when you just say coaching appointments, sometimes I don't, yeah, there's like stuff that gets lost in the process. But if you book an appointment and you coach it to hold well and to have guests, it's going to be more profitable for you. The third week, we're going to talk about holding the appointments and what that looks like. Maybe we'll show you, even show you like how to set up for, for the appointments, what to take to your appointments, what to say during, you, during your appointments. How do you know what to do? And the next week, we're going to talk about selling, booking, and getting referrals at appointments. The next week, we'll talk about recruiting, or if you'd like to call it sharing the Mary Kay opportunity. And the next week, we'll talk about amazing customer service, okay? So when you're showing up and you're getting the training and you're taking action, let me pop this off of here, and you're taking the action to build your business, your sales director is going to definitely want to really mentor you more and Unless she, unless, unless that's not your goal. You know, if you're not, if you're like, I'm cool where I'm at, I'm rocking my business. Um, but we definitely want to work more with people that have a desire to move up. And so, um, if you don't have a lot to, you know, if you don't have a desire or you're actually not working your business, there's really not a lot for us to visit about outside our Monday night stuff. Yes. We would love to be in contact with you. Our love is 100% unconditional, but our time is not. And actually, you know, as our units grow, um, it might be harder to, you know, slip time in, but not if you're showing up. And so I love that you ladies chose to show up tonight. That always speaks volumes and it honors Rosie and I beyond measure. And so I want you to know that. I hope that you applaud yourself for that. So that I see Rosie shaking her head because she, that's, it, it does. It makes a difference to us. So when you are working on this simple success plan, you are creating multiplication. That's what we're really called to do in this life, is it not? And so I know that um, something that we studied in the Bible and, and you've probably all heard of is the parable of the talents of people being given things and we're giving th given things in this life that we are supposed to utilize to help other people and to create multiplication. And so this Mary Kay business, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is one of those things that can create multiplication and can bless other people. You can help women with this. You can help children with this. And you can help families with this business. And so I want you to think outside the box this week. So would you agree that this product helps women feel better about themselves? Yep. Thank you. I see the heads nodding. And so, um, and I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to recruit everyone. No, we're not. We are going to grow clients that we're going to take great care of. But guess what? You'll also have an opportunity to be there for her to take great care of her, to pray for her or pray with her. So I've had the opportunity to really walk alongside a lot of my clients for years. And it's a blessing for me to be able to serve them. And by the way, you probably heard when mom feels uh, better about herself, you know, that affects everyone in the house, right? Yeah, for sure. So it affects the children. It affects the husband. And so, um, and you know what? And maybe, maybe you're the female is not married. You know what? That's okay. She needs to feel good about who she sees when she looks in the mirror, whether it's just taking great care of her skin, but you know that this product works all the way to the inside. It feels it just, even if it's just skincare, um, would you agree or disagree, um, that this business opportunity has increased your confidence in one way or another. 
Yeah, I see some heads nodding. That's awesome. So, all right, yes, Betsy's nodding too. So when, when mom or grandma or sister has more confidence, how does that affect her and everyone she's around? Her, if, if single, no kids, how does that affect her friends that she's around? How's that affect her sisters? How does um, it affect people's children? How does it affect families? I want you to think about that. Has Mary Kay increased your faith? Has being around other faith-filled women increased your faith and improved your personal relationship with Jesus Christ? It has mine. It has made a difference in my life here and my relationship with Jesus Christ. But you guys, that's eternal. So... What my sales director sewed into me years ago has an eternal effect. And so you have the opportunity to help people multiply their income, their faith, time with family, their health, overall, their skin health, but also their overall health. My health, you guys, I'm able to go to the gym on a, on a regular basis because I have flexibility in a career. You might have somebody in your life that would totally thrive in that zone. You have the opportunity to help people multiply their confidence. That's a gift. You have such a gift in your hands. Did you know that you possess that gift? And you can give it to other people. People are praying right now. They're on their knees praying for what you've got. Is this your mission? Is it your mission to impact other people's lives? Is it your mission to increase their income or help them with their income? Or just help them feel better for a week or two or whatever? It all starts with full circle success and booking is the very first step. But anyway, but um, I want to give you a challenge real quick. Okay. So I'm going to give you a challenge and then we're going to discuss this real quick and then we're going to wrap things up. So this went faster than I thought. So your challenge for this week is there's like four steps, but it's really not that big of a deal. Okay. Number one. Make a list of everyone that you know. Everyone. And you might be like, Jana, I know a lot of people. That's great. Look in your, and, you're, and maybe you're saying, Jana, I don't know anyone. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Get your phone and open it up. Look in your phone. Look on your Facebook. Who are the people that you know? Number two, there are some of you, obviously, that have been beauty consultants for a long time. I want you to put a heart when you're making your master list and don't just say, I got it in my head. No, you don't. No, you do not. You're going to forget someone. Pen and paper. Get out pen and paper. In fact, a notebook would be appropriate. Go buy yourself a 97 cent notebook, spiral bound notebook, and start making your list of every female that you know. I want you to put a heart by your Mary Kay clients, people that are already your Mary Kay clients that have bought anything from you. If they bought a mascara from you or if they bought a, a fingernail polish 10 years ago, I want you to put a heart by their name because they bought something uh, for Mary Kay. Number three, I want you to put a star by anyone that is dynamic, someone that you like. Someone that's an influencer and a lover of people. Some people that are authentic. You guys, these are the people that Mary Kay needs. And they could potentially join your team. And I'm not saying that we're going to try to talk them into it. But I'm just saying, let's look for people that would bless this organization. And somebody that has a work ethic. So, and a desire 
for more. That's a big deal. Okay, number four, send the picture of your list to your sales director. So make your list, put hearts by the people that love Mary Kay or that have purchased Mary Kay before. Put stars by your sparkly friends. Those are the people that are dynamic, that love other people and that are influencers. And then send that list to your independent sales director. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop the recording.